So here's what we'll need. Take your wood or wooden item and let's just make sure we've got a nice clean surface. We'll sand it all down and make it nice and smooth, ready to paint. So I'm going to take my paint. I like to use um, a chalk paint, something water-based I always find is best. And um, just paint your wood like this, get it in all over always in the direction of the grain, the way the wood goes. Always paint it that way. Just cover all the sides, all nice and um, a nice thin, thin layer. You can always add a little bit of water to um, your paint just to thin it down to let it go on a lot smoother. We don't need a full thick coverage but we just want to cover it all nicely so we give it a nice whitewash. You can also use the Mod Podge straight onto the nice sanded bare wood. There we go. So now set it aside and let it dry completely. And here we have it nice and dry and now I like to take my fine sandpaper again and just give it a lovely sand all over so we start to see some of the grain coming through the white. I like to sand down all the edges to give a nice framed finish to the wood and um, just to sand as much or as little as you like at this stage. You see here the wood grain coming through nicely. Okay, now take a soft cloth and just wipe all of the little bits away, all of the dust away so we're ending up with a nice clean finish ready for the Mod Podge to go on. So we make sure that our cutout of words is obviously in reverse, must be in reverse, and on some paper there and fitting the size of the wood. So we can now start with a Mod Podge. I use a brush, you can use one of those sponge brushes, they work well. And I just brush a nice thin layer all over the words and then a thin layer over the wood, as so. <laughs> Just making sure you're not missing any little bit there. Just make sure you get every bit of um, the paper coated. You don't want to coat it too much so that it starts to fall apart, but just add a nice, a nice layer on there. Now just make sure you wash your brush out in nice warm soapy water so that we're not damaging the brush. And there we have it, we um, turn it over, line it up and then we need to just get all the air bubbles out so you can use a ruler or a credit card and just smooth it across. We just want to work all the air bubbles out but just don't press too hard so that we're not um, getting any holes in the paper at this stage. So there we have it. You leave it for 24 hours to dry completely. That's really key here that we dry it completely. And then we go in with um, some water and the sponge 
and dab it so that you start to see the wording coming through. Can you see how that's going black there? The paper is getting wet and we will now be able to rub that away. Simply with your finger, in circular motions, just work round and you'll feel that the paper is starting to lift. Not the wording, but the paper is gently starting to lift. Don't press too hard, not too light, but you'll gradually get the hang of it there that will keep coming off. And you just keep working away at all of it until the paper is removed. You can let it dry and then come back again and um, do a little bit more until you see that all the paper is gone or you might like it that all the paper is not gone and um, you like that effect on there. It's completely up to you. So you can see here I've been working on it for maybe 20 minutes just rubbing my finger all over trying to get it all off, all the paper off and we just keep damping it and um, taking the rest off. You can have a go with so many different words, so many ways that you could create these for your home and if you'd like this one I've put it in the description down below uh, along with another one like to use this one. So there we have it, I've, um, taken off all of the paper and I like to just go round it with the sandpaper lightly now, just along the edges where the edge of the uh, paper was, just to take those um, parts away. Try not to rub over the, um, the writing unless you particularly want a really distressed look but um, at this stage I just go round the edges and lightly sanding and there we go. You could leave it like this, you could coat it with the Mod Podge again or I like to give it just another spray of varnish and that'll just keep it, um, keep it looking good for a while. So going back to the one that I showed you earlier, with this text um, I just simply printed it out in reverse and then cut out um, these one sections so that I didn't have to paste it over the whole entire lot and then with the R I did it in a circle and then I decided to paint these over the top afterwards. And with this one I left quite a lot of the white paper showing. I quite like that effect on this one. It just gives you a different look. So there we have it.